Uh, it's brought to you by the folks over at GPCA. Uh, in talking to their to their co-founder Rob, uh, he said that uh, aside from the Jeep products that they typically make, they're expanding into uh, being more of an adventurist based company. Um, Aside from the, the GP1945, he says that we can expect a host of, of other EDC or everyday uh, carry type products coming from them in 2018. But for now, let's take a closer look at this guy. So covering this thing from the front to the back, that's how we'll, that's how we'll approach this. So let's talk about this as a writing instrument first. So the first thing that I noticed uh, when I uh, clicked this thing open uh, to write with it is it's, it, the spring has a lot of tension on it. Um, so you know that as soon as you click the pen in, it's not going to unclick on you. Uh, likewise, when you unclick it, 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 there's a lot of tension there. It takes some work to actually click it there so you don't have to run the risk of it opening up in a pocket or uh, necessitating a pocket protector or anything goofy like that. Um, when you click it in, there's uh, you don't get to feel that tension pop back uh, pop it into place there. But when you unclick it, there's a, you get to feel that satisfying thump. Um, as a writing instrument, it's really smooth. It's a fine tip pen, but like I said, it's smooth. There's not a lot of drag on it. It doesn't like dig into the paper or anything like that. Um, the ink cartridge that it uses is called the GP22. Um, I would say uh, if I had any criticism about this whatsoever, it's that the, the cartridge itself is pretty small. Um, that being said, it comes with one in the uh, in the actual pen, and then it also comes with this uh, this replacement cartridge um, that uh, it's it's got a German based ink. Um, everything about this is is very finished, um, even down to the actual ink cartridge itself. As you can tell there, that different coloration right there is uh, like a wax tip to ensure that the ink stays uh, usable; it doesn't dry up or anything like that. Um, Talking about refinement, when you first open this box, when you first open the box that comes to you from GPCA, it feels very uh, elegant. It feels very finished. So it, it comes in a, in, a, in a larger box. You open that up. It's bubble wrapped. Um, and then as you open these other boxes, which are sleeve type boxes, um, the pen will itself will be in a sleeve and bubble wrapped again. So you take that out and then you have this velvet type uh, sleeve with the pen inside of it. Now the pen comes in two different finishes. You have uh, one in aluminum and you have one in titanium. Uh, there's a noticeable difference in the weight. Um, when you hold the aluminum compared to the titanium, the aluminum is, is way more uh, light. Um, the other thing about the aluminum is that the knurling on the, on the grip of the pen, um, where your finger grooves are at, it's actually uh, it, it's actually knurled. It actually has like a diamond knurling to it to ensure like a steady grip. The sleeve that comes with it is actually very very nice. It's very handy, especially if you're going to keep it in the car. So if you have it in the glove box or you have it in a center console or something like that, uh, it's not just rolling around um, jacking up the finish on the aluminum pen. Um, the other thing about the finger grooves is that they actually are spaced out in such a way that they're used as a, they can be used as a measurement device. So you have um, from this like very first squared area back to this finger notch here is an inch. And then when you flip that guy and you take a look here, that actually measures a centimeter. When you take the tip of the pen off of there, um, that, that first groove there, its actual length is one centimeter. Kind of nifty. Um, a couple of other features about the pen that we'll cover. Uh, at this point, uh, are its purposes as a uh, as a uh, glass punch with that tungsten carbide tip, and then also as a survival whistle, which uh, which happens when you take the carbide tungsten tip off of there. So let's explore those a little bit more. I'm a demo kind of person. Before I buy something, I want to first make sure that it works. Uh, so the first thing I'll show you guys is the um, is the two tone survival whistle. So basically you unscrew the, uh, the, the tungsten carbide tip off the back side and it serves as a, a rescue whistle. So then once you put the tip back on there, uh, it's ready to uh, turn into a glass punch for you. Now glass punches are useful in situations where uh, like you're stuck somewhere and the only way out is a window or you need to get in somewhere and the only way in is a window. So let's see how it works. Uh, 
super clean break, one hit, and seems to work pretty well to me. Alright guys, so the last feature that I want to point out on the pen is it actually has a two-stage uh, belt or shirt clip to it. So that you have this first clip here, you have the cutout where the whistle is, um, that ensures that the pen stays put wherever you, wherever you clip it to. Um, wrapping up, uh, again, we've got two different t two different finishes. You have the titanium and the aluminum. Uh, titanium is going to run you about 100 bucks. The aluminum is going to run you about 50. Um, I, I want to talk for just a second about uh, law enforcement application. Now, I know that this was not designed as uh, and, and marketed specifically for law enforcement purposes, but I see in this, you know, really about probably about three different, four different practical uses um, for law enforcement. Um, being the glass breaker, uh, oftentimes we got to break into places. Um, the pen, I spent a lot of time with a writing utensil in my hand. And lastly, the whistle. I don't carry a whistle on me for traffic control just because it's it's not very cool, it's not very practical, it's not a very easy thing to, to keep and all the other things that I have to keep on me. So uh, in in the law enforcement world I think that this actually has a really good place in that that niche market. Uh, the last thing I want to point out, there's nothing on the website from uh, GPCA uh, about the GP1945 to talk about its uses um, for this, but it's it's also good to be used as like an improvised coubaton or hand weapon. Um, like I said, I spent a lot of time with a writing utensil in my hand. So you go from here to, to having to defend yourself, and all you have to do is wrap wrap the pen up in your hand. The, the grips are such uh, that it's not going to go anywhere, and you have the ability to strike with it and defend yourself until you're able to take care of business, do whatever else you got to do. In the end, in looking at this thing, what GPC has produced in the, 19, in the GP1945 is a very functional, um, well-designed tool that has multiple applications. Um, along with this, again, GP1945, or the GP1945, GPCA is promising us a, a full EDC line coming this year. Um, given the quality behind this product, I'm really excited to see what else they come out with.